This video is brought to you by hoodbeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. Hoodbeast.com. I've got to be honest, I'm kind of getting sick of Yeezys. What's up guys, I'm Seth Fowler and today I've got sort of a controversial topic that's probably going to piss a lot of people off even though it, it shouldn't. I'm going to be giving my opinion on Yeezys and whether or not I think the hype is dying and my opinion on the Yeezy brand moving forward. Before I get into that, I just want to do a really quick plug for the new merch I have dropping right now. I've got two shirts dropping online at my website, Seth Fowler's store. The link will be in the description below. I'll also have them at my table at SneakerCon Toronto, so if you guys are there, make sure to stop by and pick up a shirt. But if you couldn't already tell, the first shirt is the one I'm wearing right now, which is a maroon 100% cotton shirt with my logo SF and then Seth Fowler underneath. And my favorite part about this shirt is that it's got the same logo really big on the back, which I think looks dope. And of course, this is the second one. I'm calling it the backwards hat shirt for obvious reasons. This design is printed on the same 100% cotton shirt. It's printed in sort of a dark navy, which I think looks really nice. These shirts do seem to fit pretty true to size. They run from small all the way up to 2XL. So if you're anywhere in that range, awesome. If you're not, I will probably come out with larger and maybe extra small sizes in the future, depending on how well the shirts do. So we'll see. But if you guys do want to grab one or both of these shirts, like I said before, the link to do so is in the description below. But finally, jumping into the main topic, Yeezys. Is the hype dying? As you all know, anything that Kanye wears or collaborates on becomes very popular. Of course, before Adidas, Kanye has collaborated with a lot of other sneaker brands, most notably on the Nike Air Yeezy and the Air Yeezy 2. Even though there was hype on some of his pre-Nike sneakers, the hype train really started to get going on the Nike Air Yeezy. Kanye has always been a fashion icon and driven fashion trends, so that's of course one of the main reasons his sneakers are so popular. But it's really amazing how much just putting the name Yeezy on something really increases the hype. As we saw back in 2015 when Adidas released the Yeezy Boost 750. Adidas had always been a huge brand that had been around long before Nike, but up until Yeezy first dropped that sneaker with Adidas, there wasn't a lot of hype behind the brand. Not to say they didn't have good sales, but they really weren't the brand they are today. You've really got to give Kanye a lot of credit because he revitalized the brand. Back in 2014 and 2015, Jordan brand was still the most hype brand. The shoes that were selling out were Jordans, but once Kanye started dropping Yeezys with Adidas and wearing all Boost, the hype sort of started to shift over to that brand. Of course, you can't give all the credit to Kanye. There was Boost, there was the NMD, there was Pharrell. There was a lot of great marketing that went on at Adidas. They were kind of making all the right moves and really positioning themselves for success. But now, almost two years later, we're starting to see the market almost get saturated with Boost. Throughout this year, NMDs stopped selling out, which back a year or two ago would never have happened. Ultra Boost started to sit a lot of places. I mean, of course, in Canada and other places that don't have a lot of Ultra Boost, they still sell out pretty regularly. But at least in the United States, you can find Ultra Boost at most stores. And one of the biggest reasons people think the Yeezy hype has died is because Yeezy resale has kind of dropped. Now when saying that, I think it's very important to take into account that all sneaker resale has kind of dropped. Jordans aren't selling out like they used to. In fact, a lot of them aren't even selling out at all. As I mentioned, NMDs aren't really selling out unless they're collaborations. Same thing with Ultra Boost. Overall, silhouettes aren't really as hyped as they used to be. It's more the collaborations and special editions that have that hype behind them. With all that being said, I think the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 is one of the last silhouettes to still have a good amount of hype behind it. I don't think Yeezy hype is dying. I think there's just a lot more Yeezys available. And I think it all goes back to and I think it all goes back to when Kanye said that eventually everyone will be able to get Yeezys. I think that was his end goal to give everyone that opportunity to buy the shoe. So I think the fact that Adidas is producing more is a good thing. I think that that really does give people the opportunity to grab them. And I think it's smart that they're not mass producing just one colorway and that they're just producing a lot of different limited colorways. I will say though that I think some of the upcoming colorways are kind of boring like that ice colorway which is like a light blue and white white 350. I don't know why everyone's so hype on that, man. I think it's just kind of dull. The Beluga 2.0s are fine. I don't have any problem with them. I think they're nice sneakers. And then you've got that neon yellow highlighter Big Mac piece of sh I don't know what it is, man. That, that colorway sucks. That's just such a weird shoe to me. I just don't get it. Obviously, if it does release, it's going to sell out no matter what the colorway is. And a lot of people are saying that's going to be the most limited Yeezy, so it's probably going to be the most hyped Yeezy. I, I mean, you got to realize that aesthetics aren't really the thing that drives hype behind a shoe. I mean, look at those new Balenciagas that are dropping. But my point in all of this is that the reason it looks like Yeezy hype is dying is that one, there's just more Yeezys. There's more supply, which means there's a little bit less demand. And two, sneaker resale right now is just slowing down. The overall market is slowing down, so prices are getting lower for everything across the board. Of course, there are exceptions, but overall, prices are coming down. I don't think anyone who really likes the Yeezy 350 V2, who was given a chance to buy one for retail, who had the money, wouldn't take that chance. That's what I mean by I don't think the hype is dying. People will still buy the shoe, and the shoe will still sell out. I don't think you're ever going to see any 350s sitting, but the resale market just isn't what it was. The prices aren't as high, and people are using that as their indicator on whether the hype of a shoe is dying or not. But I don't think 
think Yeezy 350s are gonna be sitting anytime soon or if ever. Um, I mean, that's just my thoughts. But of course, that's all my own opinion. I'd love to hear what you guys think, so make sure to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And if you guys wanna support me and the channel and like these shirts, grab one over at sethfowlerstore.com. The link will be in the description below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me, Seth Fowler, if you wanna see more content just like this. And follow me in all of the forums of social media. The links will be in the description below.